Hi all, this is Leah from Mommyish, and today I have a tutorial on how to use the new Felt Up number three. So um, this is a tutorial for Photoshop Elements. Uh, how this works in Elements is slightly different than how it works in Photoshop CS or CC. So Photoshop Elements first. Um, I have here is a tester file. It is included in your download. You feel free to use this for commercial use as well. Um, but I'm using this file to show you how this set works. So first things first, you want to load everything. You're going to load the brushes, the styles, and the actions before you get started. So um, you can do this for the actions. You'll go through your um, effects panel, go to styles for styles, load styles, and for effects, go to effects, load effects here. And when you do that, you'll see the two and the icons in there. So it will pull up. And when you load those two, you see my two here that are the little blue little felt pieces, these icons, then you'll know that you've loaded them properly. All right. Um, next up, you have to make sure you've loaded your brushes. So I just click on my brushes here. I like to load directly through the panel. There's this little guy here and you just go to um, load brushes and you'll see here I have loaded my brushes and there's several different brushes to use. Um, some are fluffier than others. Uh, there's also four stitching brushes. Now, also know that you can always resize these brushes to your liking. If you're going to resize, use the largest size um, of the brushes and then scale it down from there to get the best result. I would not recommend scaling up because it will lose the um, integrity of the edge. It'll become fuzzier. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. First up, I'm going to select one of the teal pieces, or actually the teal pieces are together. You want to make sure that you change your foreground color to the color of the felt piece that you're about to add an edging to. Now, I'm showing you how to do the edging first. Uh, you can do this, if you're going to do stitching, you'll do the stitching and then the edging, but for this first time, we're just going to do the edging so I can show you how that works. So again, choose your foreground color then select your brush. You'll also be prompted by the action to remember to do this just in case. Um, so I'm going to select my brush. I'm going to choose one of the fuzzier ones right here. And um, all you're going to do is you're going to click the little uh, edge action like that. And it'll remind you again, make sure your foreground color is set to the color of the felt piece. Pick the edging brush and go. And it'll just run for a second. And as you can see, this is a very fuzzy little edge. Now, if this is all that you're interested in doing, you have that done, and then you're just going to go to your styles and apply one of the styles to it. Just like that. Really, really easy. All right, I'm going to step back a bit to the beginning. Now, if I want to have stitching, I'm going to do that first. All right, so if you want a stitched element, again, do that first. So we're going to make sure that the correct layer is selected. So I'm picking the blue one again. This time I want to choose the foreground color as the color of the stitching. So I'm changing that to white and I'm choosing my stitching brush. Uh, for my stitching brush, I'm gonna choose the one that is 30. Kind of like the way that looks as I kind of eyeball it a bit. All right. And again, you're just going to double check brush foreground color and then I'm going to choose the stitching action. Again, it'll say make sure you have your foreground color set to the color. Continue and you'll see really quickly it's just going to follow along a little bit on the inside just like that. Cute, right? So um, if you have parts like this that you feel like they look weird, just erase it with your, you know, your eraser brush and use the brush itself on its own and you can always just finagle it around. I'm not too concerned about it. I think it looks fine. All right. So stitching first. Now I'm going to do the edging. So I'm again, make sure you choose that felt area because it's still going to have the stitching area selected. So go back, choose the little blue part or whatever your color is. Change your foreground color to the color. Change your brush to the type of edging that you want. I'm going to do fuzzy 35, but I'm going to scale it down to my own number here. Eh, just like that. Perfect. All right. And then I'm going to just run the edging action. And I'll just take it a second. And there we go. He's done. 
All right, so the next step, you want to go ahead and um, go to your layers. You're going to take your stitching layer and duplicate this layer. All right, so make another one. So this is, uh, we'll call it stitching top. I'm going to take the stitching top, stitching, and then I'm going to clip it to the felty layer. That's control G or command G. All right, now I'm gonna to go to my styles. So I'm gonna to go to effects, styles. I have my styles loaded. I have my felt layer selected currently. And now I'm just going to apply one of the felt styles to it, just like that. Now I'm gonna to go to the, the lower, like the first stitching one. This is gonna be the emboss. This is gonna add slight puffiness or um, like an indention, so to speak depending on which one of the four embossed styles you use. And I'm going to go ahead and show that. See how that one's much puffier. This one not so much. You know, this one even less. I'm using him. And then I'm going to go to my layers again, stitching top. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply the stitching style. And there you have it. So that's how you make a stitching element. So for this particular element, I'm then going to run the action a few more times, just edging on some of the pieces. And uh, I'm going to fast forward through that, but you'll get to see it done. All right, we're back in real time again. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some styles to these various little pieces here. So again, going to my styles panel, I'm just gonna select the styles that I'd like for each of these pieces. Just like that. Um, a little trick, if, if you don't know, like I don't wanna do around the edges on this, but I do wanna do a stitching um, across the middle. So I'm just gonna take my stitching brush the one I scaled down a little bit or you know what I don't even have to scale it a little bit I'm gonna add a layer over the top of that red felty piece I'm gonna select my brush color as white now I want a straight stitch so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold my shift key down and I'm gonna draw a straight line across just like that and I'm gonna nudge them down a little bit nudge 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 there he goes. Again, just like any um, uh, the other stitching layer, I'm just going to duplicate him. I'm going to take those two layers, Control G, clip it down into the layer underneath, and I'm going to add just a little bit of the styles to finish him off, just like that. This set also comes with drop shadows for your felt pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify these layers. I'm going to merge the ones that have multiple layers together first. And then the other ones, I'm just going to simplify um, the layer effect, which means you're committing. Here at the end, we're going to commit to the felts because we like how everything looks. I'm going to take these three, clip it to my base element, go to effects again, add one of the drop shadows to it. And you know what, we'll go ahead and add a drop shadow to the felt part two, so you can just kind of get a feel for how that looks. So there we are. Now again, this is zoomed in to 161%. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this at actual size, just like that. So this is what he looks like, our finished little element. Isn't he sweet? Um, but this is how this this set works in PSC. It's not too hard. Again, don't be afraid to scale down your brushes. You can also use brushes that you may already own um, and use this, these actions in conjunction with other style sets. For example, I have burlap styles that would work really well with this that also contain burlap brushes, um, which would work really good with this. So uh, don't be afraid to just mess around. Also, you can scale down the bevels in PSE. Just double click on your FX part. Let me, I'm gonna go back a little bit so you can see from where I've merged everything together. <laughs> there we go. Um, I'm gonna select this 
middle piece right here and go to my layers. Just double click on your FX. You're going to want to play around with the bevel, all right? So you can always um, scale it up or down, just up to what you wanna do. So don't be afraid to do that. You can also do that with the emboss. So I'm gonna do that right now. Let's say I want the emboss to be larger. Again, that makes it a little puffier, a little less, see? So don't be afraid to play around with it to get exact look that you'd like. And that's it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and enjoy felt up number three.